What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video today. Spider-Man Mark IV Armor from the PlayStation 4 game. Super excited about it. Let's open it up. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Spider-Man Mark IV Armor from the PS4 game. Uh, this isn't a figure that I was super hyped to pick up. I gotta be quite honest with you guys. Uh, I don't know that I'm still super hyped to pick this one up, but I got it so I can show you guys what this thing looks like. Um, I, I have seen some photos floating around that look pretty cool as far as posing and kind of like the suit. Um, but I really like the stealth suit or the night monkey and I really like the homemade suit Spidey. So I guess what we're going to try and determine in today's video is number one, what's this thing like? And number two, should you uh, pick it up for your own collection because there's a whole bunch of Spider-Man figures out there There's so many to choose from should this be one that you uh, take money out of the bank account for So we're gonna find out so uh, pretty cool box art. Let's take a look at it All right guys, we got the box here and it is super shiny super metallic and honestly the box art looks pretty good The question is will this Spider-Man figure actually do this pose or is this like somebody's artist rendering? That's the question we're going to try and determine uh, in just a little bit. But Spider-Man, Spider-Armor Mark IV suit. I'll give this guy a little up close for you guys. Um, there you go, Spider-Armor Mark IV suit video game series. And uh, this is a video game masterpiece number 43. And there's the box art. It is, this actually looks like the suit as far as the metallic shine and gloss and whatnot. But I would be super surprised to see if we could actually get this ab crunch crazy. I don't know. Maybe we'll, tr we'll try it out, see what we can do. Nice little like uh, carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber weave going on right here. Uh, we got a nice little spider symbol, this web effect thing they've got going on carries over to the side of the box. And then on the back, there's all your whodunits in case you are wanting to read all of that. Um, but this is actually the coolest part of the box, this side where they've got all these little different grids, almost like a comic strip of, uh, of different Spideys. So it's actually uh, pretty nice. I like that. that's a pretty cool little design we do have obviously a top loader we can do that but it does have this little metallic flap which we open up and boom we get we get all this stuff so we got a uh, a window in case you want to buy a 300 hundred dollar figure and leave it in the box and just look at it like this which some of you very well may do i don't know uh, but here's all your whodunits again on this side nice little cover art um going on right here but uh we're not here to look at a uh, $300 action figure in a box. We are here to uh, open it up. So let's just go ahead and make that happen. I think for this video, I'm gonna use my handy dandy exacto knife because it's right here on the table. So uh, let's just open this bad boy up. Now, if you did not know, uh, we do have uh, some channel supporters on Patreon here. And this figure is actually going to one of them. So uh, every month, we give away a six scale figure, and I thought it'd be cool this month to give away this guy because uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Now, I know we got some Marvel collectors out there, so if you want to get more info about that, there's a link down below, and you, you can check that out. Let's see here. Let's get this little plastic cover off of here. Clam stuff. Okay, that's um, that's that's a that's a lot of shiny stuff. That's kind of crazy. Let's see what all we've got. We've got some webs. We'll definitely need to be taking a look. These are definitely stuff we've seen before. These webs, we saw the exact same webs with the uh, the Night Monkey Stealth Suit Spidey and the homemade suit Spidey from uh, Far From Home. Uh, crotch, oh, look, they did it again. No, that's, anyways, there's that. Uh, we got the drone that we've seen so many times. Like, you know, maybe they should give us a different accessory. Uh, we get this little web, we get, oh, get out of here. Webs, get you out of here. We got a pile of hands. We get this little web sticking thing going on right here. You got if you don't know my thoughts on these things, I'll go ahead and straight up tell you right now. I, I don't like these. They, these look too um nah, I don't know. I just don't like them. Alright, so uh the suit. Let's go ahead and get this guy here. Look, he's wearing a cape. Like straight out of the box. Comes with a cape. Who knew? I didn't think the suit had a cape. Uh Spider-Man doesn't wear capes. If you have watched uh, Into the Spider-Verse, but we got some static clean going on there. Oh, get over there. Get all this little stuff out of here. Ratcheted elbows. I kind of expected that from a Spider-Man figure. I'm pretty sure that stuff's to make sure that uh, the suit doesn't stick to itself. Let's get our, just our first quick impressions. And there's some tape there. I'll have to get that off. Um, here. We got to get you 
off of here. What are you doing, man? There we go. Whew. All right, there's our first impressions, our first look at this body. The colors are very saturated, very vibrant, if you will. Um, yeah, there is a lot of color going. You can see just right up. Look at all that sheen and stuff coming off of that figure right off the light. Oh boy. We're gonna have some fun with this one. I'm a big Spidey fan, so we'll put him to the side. You guys, and we'll take all the plastic stuff off. We're gonna get some hands. Let's get all this stuff out of the box. And uh, look at all this stuff. Hands, we're gonna get some change out eyes. The eyes look totally different from any other spider figure I have seen. So I'm, I'm excited about that. We've got some hands. We're gonna have a display stand, which we're definitely gonna need because it's a Spidey figure. And uh, you know, we, we, gotta, we gotta test it out. So there's that. Come on, get out of here. All right, I'll deal with that soon. Then we get some eyelets. These look, these are definitely different than what I'm used to. This must be because of the UV paint. There's some blue green stuff going on in there. It might look a little white to you guys, but yeah, that's crazy. Let's get these guys out. So this obviously is gonna have the luminescent uh, light effect with this particular figure, which means below all of this stuff, we have some more stuff. I'll remember from Thor Ragnarok with Scourge. He's like, this is my stuff. <laughs> oh, I love the movie. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, all right, so we got some bases. Wow, that is light. This is like the thinnest. This is like trash bag thin plastic. Maybe a little thicker, but that's that's pretty flimsy, guys. That's maybe it doesn't need to be anything more than that, but that's pretty flimsy. Uh, we get some oh nice little uh, connector there, power. So that's cool. Uh, and then we get up. Uh, this is cardboard. This is straight up cardboard. Now I never owned the Black Panther figure uh, or the Killmonger figures that had have this UV effect. I've never or, or the neon. No, the neon tech didn't come with these, but the Black Panther figure. Um, I haven't had these before, but that's just straight up cheap styrofoam cardboard stuff. This is not impressive. Now I'm hoping that what it does is impressive, but in it itself, uh, yeah, not all that great. All right, so let's get all this stuff out. I'm going to take the plastic off of that guy. We're going to figure out how to hook this up. Power supply, you will select USB, so I'll deal with that. And then um, we'll see what this thing looks like. All right, so we got everything out of the box. Let's take a look at what we got. Obviously, we've got the figure on one side. We've got all the accessories, which for what you get, it's not a whole lot of accessories. I'm used to seeing a lot more accessories with Spider-Man figures. The Spider-Man advanced suit was amazing. The Scarlet Spider was amazing. I mean, it, we've seen a lot more accessories. These just didn't really come with a whole lot. Uh, but let's take a look at what it actually does come with, and that is a pile of hands. Now, these hands are uh, very, very high gloss, very metallic sheen, and uh, they look pretty, I mean, honestly, they look pretty sick. When I first saw this thing, after I got all the plastic stuff off of it, even even right here, you can see all that light bouncing off this figure. And uh, it's it's very, it, I can see it standing out on the shelf. Uh, I can see that. Um, we do have some uh, some wall crawling hands right here. So these are free. I mean, we've seen all these hands before. There's just different paint applications. Uh, we've got the uh, the web slinging hands, the whipping hands. Nice little grid pattern going on. I mean, just, they're pretty beautiful, honestly. Uh, we're gonna get a pair of fisted hands, which we're normally seeing. And yes, you can guess it. We're gonna get a pair of web holding hands that are the same as fisting hands, but they actually have a hole. Uh, so you can actually uh, hold on to the webs, which is actually uh, kind of cool. So um, these are these are nice. So a pile of hands. We're gonna get this drone that we've seen four or five times now. Yeah, the drone. Uh, it's nice. The paint app appears to match the uh, the suit. So that's a nice little touch there. But it's something we've seen before. It's nothing crazy. If you haven't seen this before, uh, these are uh, you can maneuver these little these little legs and whatnot. Um, they kind of rotate a little bit if you want to. Uh, but there's not a whole lot going on with that. It's not one of the coolest accessories we've ever gotten. I think still my favorite is probably going to be the Scarlet Spider that comes with like the pizza box, I believe. Um, coffee cup, that kind of stuff. This is okay. Uh, we are going to get some change out uh, eyes. So we just looked at a little earlier. They're definitely got a blue green tint to it. Whereas pretty much every other Spider-Man figure, they've been pretty much just white. So I imagine that's for the uh, UV effect that we're gonna be taking a look at a little later. Uh, webs, guys, we've seen all these webs. These are nothing special. If you've seen any Spider-Man, you've seen webs. 
I'm really not going to spend any time uh, on these, but uh, I'm going to let you know that they're here and yeah, they're there. All right, so uh, we did not get the cradle on this stand, so that kind of stinks. Okay, and there's some negatives here, guys. I'm, I'm, I, I want this to be a good figure. I want it to be, but I can't make it one. You know what I mean? Uh, so the actual display stand, if I can get this out, uh, if you do not want to use the UV effect, which is this flimsy thing right here, if you actually just want to use this, this actually looks pretty good. I like this. It's got like a neon yellowish glow around the uh, spider symbol. Um, I, I kind of dig this. I like it, you know, for what it is. Uh, some battery effects there. So I'm going to have to, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, some, yeah, batteries or the, yeah, we'll probably use the batteries. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Uh, but it does come with this if you want to use, I, I suppose, I mean, you really need this. You really got to go like, otherwise the UV stuff not going to work. Uh, and that's no bueno. Uh, but we do have these guys. So based on what I can tell just out of the box, guys, this is some cheap styrofoam. If, you, if you've seen Iron Man figures, it's the same styrofoam they use for the Iron Man figures. Like it's protective, but I don't know why they built this out of styrofoam. Why didn't they build this out of something a little nicer than some literally some like poster board style paper and some styrofoam that's kind of weird uh cheap i guess would be the better lack of better word for that um which is not something i usually say about hot toys figures but this feels cheap um we do have some uh uv lights going on down here we do have two of them that's what they look like obviously these don't light up that would be kind of cool if it went both uh, directions uh, this says silver silver sabor Kind of came up. Silver Sable International. Wow, learn to speak. Um, yeah, so there's that. Do have like some little connectors here. We got to connect to the base, uh, and that's what we got. But the figure itself, I, this is cool. This is a. I, I think as I'm seeing like the light bounce off of this thing, this is a very very saturated paint scheme. Like it is very very saturated. You can see the blue. This this reminds me of a comic. Spider-Man, and I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I really do. But let's take a closer look at the back of this guy. You've got a nice little spider symbol, which is raised up. You guys can see that right there. Raised up, so that's kind of cool. I wonder if that's because it's a similar body to the uh, Iron Spider PS4 version, and it, because that has like all the little back plates for the legs to go in, I wonder if that's why that's raised up um, versus just making it flat. So there's that. I think it's raised up in the game, and maybe that's the reason. But I don't recall it really using this suit in the game. I really, uh, the Scarlet Spider was kind of my go-to suit. Um, but anyways, you got a nice little web pattern, uh, printed tech, uh, pattern going on on the blue sections. And then on the red, you can see the high, super, super high sheen as that light bounces off of this thing and just glimmers. Tomotoa from Moana would be super happy to have this uh, on his shell. Just saying. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, but there's our head sculpt. Now, the head sculpt is not, let's see if I can put it this way. It matches pretty well. It's not 100% match, but it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm not mad about that. Uh, let's see what kind of movement we get out of it in a little bit. This, The actual spider symbol looks pretty good. The blue and the red and the contracts looks great. The actual proportions of this uh, I quite like, honestly, the shoulders, the abs, everything. I, I think it's a good proportion figure for Spider, and uh, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not mad about that. Uh, Hands-wise, we do have some extra, like, just floating hands, for lack of a better word, um, relaxed hands. And then we've got, here's all this shine. I can't get over how shiny this flipping thing is. It's crazy, man. So what kind of articulation are we gonna, oh, we gotta check these boots. Okay, so they're sealed. They're 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 connected. Interesting. There's some weird stuff going on there. You see that little poof? That little poof right there, like right right there at the ankle. That's kind of weird. It's definitely split. As so that must be just covering up that section. That's weird. I don't think I like that. Like you can plainly see that it's underneath this. I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal. Uh, articulation wise, let's see what we can do. Oh, we got some ratcheted shoulders, which is what we should have. So there's that. Again, I'm giving this figure away, so I am not gonna go super crazy with it. If it was mine, 
and I was keeping it, you guys know I would just go, I would, I would pose it, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna be somewhat careful with this thing uh, as if it's somebody else's because it's gonna end up being somebody else's. Uh, but there we go. And the question I've got is what's gonna happen with these seams? So there, the seam runs all the way down this side and how far can we get this thing up? Straight up, if I break it, I'll buy another one and I'll give it away. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try not to do that. But I think we could probably get that a little higher. Yep, yep, there we go, okay. That's about as high as I want that to go, as far as just right there at that joint. Uh, there's a bicep swivel in there. You're gonna get a bend of the elbows, and this is what it's gonna do. This is Spider-Man, guys, so don't be afraid to pose your figures if this is actually yours. Um, don't be, be afraid to pose them. I mean, you're gonna have some issues like that where it bunches up on the um, seams or uh, elbows, joints, but it's Spider-Man. You can't have him, I mean, I guess you could just have him like I don't know, that would be boring. Um, I have a feeling like the Iron Spider suit we saw with uh, the PS4 game, and actually the PS4, I'm sorry, the MCU, Tom Holland Iron Spider is what I was thinking of, from Infinity War, but also with the uh, PS4 game. This material right here, this suit, this is very similar to, at least the red section is very similar to the MCU Infinity War Iron Spider. And then this section here is a little different. This is, you can feel the texture going on here. So it's a little different. But I have a feeling if you bend these joints and you have them, you know, touching like this, they're gonna stick. So I have a feeling that would stick. So you might not wanna have it at a super extreme uh, bend for a very long time. Maybe if you wanna take some photos, make a video, whatever, uh, you might wanna uh, have some fun with it. But um, we're gonna lower this guy back down. So there we go. Woo. All right, let's check out this knees. No, oh, there's no ratchet at the knee? What? What the heck? Why is there not a ratchet at the knee? That's silly. Why didn't they do that? We got a ratchet at the hip. Like, it'll go pretty far back and pretty far forward. And if you go far forward, you know you're going to have bunching up. So, I mean, that's fine. But why didn't they do ratchet at knees? Like, that's... I wonder why they didn't do that. That's kind of weird. Anyways. Head-wise, let's see what we can do. Is there any movement in the neck? Uh, no. There's not much movement in the neck. That's pretty solid. That's crazy. Ball joint. But if Spider-Man's flying, like, he's got to be able to... All right, come on. Give me, give me, go look. Look up. Look up. That's about as far as he can look up. That's not terrible, I guess. But it looks like it's going to be touching the suit, and that worries me just a touch. Uh, and it looks like you can... Okay, see, when I, when I did that... You can see how the neck, the head actually moved this way. So if I put the head back down, there's a gap. So that actually goes back forward like that. So you can look down. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ab crunch. That is ratcheted, but check out that. You don't want that. Interesting. Pretty decent rotation. I mean, I, I, again, I, I think I could push, push this thing a little further. Um, if I was keeping it, so I'm gonna be somewhat careful with this thing. Uh, but down on the feet, let's see what we got. Again, this is a separate joint. So we're gonna get pretty good range of motion. Do we have this? Oh yes, we got toe articulation, that's awesome. All right. All right, I think we gotta do, I'm gonna put all this stuff together, get all this stuff plugged in, check out this UV effect, because honestly, that's pretty cool. I think the colors by itself though, right? Just without even the UV effect, it's a pretty, pretty good looking figure, and I think it'll stand out uh, on the shelf. But let's put that together, see what it looks like. All right, guys, here we go. The UV lights are on, and I gotta be honest with you, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, and it's hard to translate these on video, you know, how these things look versus in person because you got camera settings and lighting, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it actually looks pretty good from what I'm seeing on, uh, on the camera versus in person. Other than in person, the colors on the actual suit uh, come out more uh, than what you're seeing here on camera. Like right here on camera, this almost looks straight up black and white. It's not, you still see the red and the vibrancy in the red. And then those highlighted areas, you can still see a lot of blue. Uh, so it's interesting that it's coming across that way uh, on camera. So it's kind of kind of neat, um, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice effect. I think, I'm pretty sure this is like a painted on effect or an application to the actual suit. So if you handle this thing too much, or if you pose it too crazy, or uh, just 
I, I would imagine that paint's gonna rub off over time, that UV effect, because I doubt the UV covering is actually a permanent thing. So that means that outside of the UV effect, you've gotta actually like the figure itself when you don't have the lights on. And let's be honest with you guys, uh, even though this thing has a, uh, a DC or uh, power supply via USB, uh, you're probably still uh, gonna not use it all the time. I know some of you guys are gonna wanna know what the back looks like, so there we go. That UV paint is pretty well done. It's pretty well done. You gotta have it pretty well close to these lights uh, because they're not very bright. I don't think that's a matter, a problem with the suit. That's just a problem with the weak uh, UV lights they put in there. And, uh, but there he is. The, the pattern is, uh, is quite fantastic, actually. It actually is, it's, it's growing on me. I gotta be honest with you. It's growing on me, but uh, I wanna see uh, if we get this guy in a couple more poses, what it might look like. All right, so before I turned off the UV lights and actually turned on regular lights, uh, I thought I'd throw it in another pose and, and just give you an idea of what it might look like uh, outside of just a museum pose in the uh, UV stand, which honestly is not all that impressive. Like you can see, because you can't get, I'm gonna say you can't. The pose I decided to use, I can't get him any closer to the base. He's literally not even standing on uh, on the base, uh, his feet are like not, not even close to it. Um, but that's what it might look like. Uh, that's less impressive. All right, here we go, guys. Spider-Man all lit up, and you can see the vibrancy of the colors. It actually is. It's kind of uh, it's it's growing on me. I got to be honest with you. Spider-Man is kind of growing on me, uh, purely because of the color saturation in the suit. The high gloss situation. I don't really care so much about that. That's it, it's okay. Like I, I that's okay. But with the lights bouncing off of it, it, it just reminds me of the Iron Spider suit from the MCU, uh, as far as that sheen goes. But that's not what's uh, that's not what's getting it for me. For me, it's definitely the saturation and colors, and uh, that really, really vibrant blue and that red is just that's pretty sick. That's that's pretty sick. Hope you guys like this pose. I'll, I'll zoom out for you if I can and um, just give you something simple. I think you could probably pull this off without hurting the suit too much. Uh, there's definitely some bunching up going on, which I will uh, show you here in just a second when it rolls back around. Oops, sorry, zoom up. And um, I, I don't think you're having any issue. I didn't have any trouble balancing this guy whatsoever. The feet, I probably could have rolled that ankle a little better, but uh, it's not terrible. Uh, but let's, when this guy rotates around, I want to show you the actual uh, creasing uh, of the suit but check out those it's pretty good looking guys it's pretty good looking and i, I do like me some spider-man i still think i like the stealth suit night monkey a little better but that's just personal preference i don't know that it really has anything to do with the suit um but there you go you can see the creasing going on there uh you can see the creasing going on that back elbow and then uh there's our suit uh with the helmet up there not terrible not really fantastic but um, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'd like to take a minute to welcome the elusive Mark Seven Iron Man back to the collection. Yes, I had to include it. It just showed up today, so I had to include it in the video. And uh, I've got uh, old Spidey here holding on to uh, old uh, Tony's faceplate from the Iron Man Mark Seven, and. Um, yeah, I just had to. I just wanted to throw it in there. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And yes, for everybody who has been with me trying to, uh, you know, give me some goodwill out there to get the Mark 7 back. Uh, thank you, by the way. It's here. I can stop ranting about it and uh, get on with the next phase of the collection. Uh, but it is glorious. And it honestly is one of my favorite uh, armors in all of the Iron Man uh, lineup. Uh, but looking at the uh, actual Spider-Man figure, I guess that's what we're here to talk about. And uh, with everything that's going on, you, again, I just want to show you the, the seams and the uh, shine, the sheen, everything going on with this suit. Uh, it is pretty, pretty freaking glorious. Pretty freaking glorious. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. Oh, the feels. Look at that. Look at Tony, the mentor. Man, that's good looking. So I'll zoom out so you guys can see this pose. You guys know I like having fun with the poses um, as I do these things. So uh, I want to continue to, in fact, I got something super cool planned for the channel, by the way, uh, a huge project that will probably take me all of 
two or three days to knock out, but uh, we're going to try and make it happen. So if you like posing, subscribe to the channel and uh, we're going to try and make that happen. But uh, there it is, guys. There's just a simple pose. We're going to do maybe one more again because it's not my, my figure and I don't want to uh, stretch it out any more than I, I have to because somebody else might just throw in a museum pose and enjoy it. All right, so this might be one of the most ambitious posing deals I've done. Now, yesterday we unboxed the Heavy Mandalorian and I put Beskar Mando, Heavy Mando, and Boba Fett 40th anniversary on the display stand, spinning around in flight poses. And I figured, what the hell, uh, why not do that with some, uh, some spider people? So I've got Iron Spider from the PS4 game. I've got Night Monkey, AKA Stealth Suit Spidey. And then I've got our Mark IV armor Spidey right here in a flying pose. Come on. I wanted to show you what it looked like with some other characters in your uh, in your collection. I do have them just literally resting on that uh, stand right there. I absolutely believe that that clamp will damage and dent the suit, uh, which is one reason I didn't really use it just yet. So, uh, but there's uh, there's Night Monkey with that awesome Molten Man diorama base, which is pretty sick. And then we've got one of my favorite figures of 2020. The freaking Iron Spider from the PS4 game. Holy cow, that thing's amazing. So I kind of wanted to uh, give you guys some insight as this thing kind of spins around a little bit and you guys can check out the poses. Uh, I wanted to give you some insight on like which Spider-Man figure you might want to pick up for yourself. And um, just my thoughts. I mean, you can think totally different. That's okay. The Mark IV armor is gorgeous, even without the lights. It is beautiful. The the vibrancy of the paint, or, or so the suit, the blue, the red, the, the uh, spider symbol on the chest, the gloss, the sheen, everything about it is is gorgeous. Okay, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that being said, I think the Iron Spider is the better figure. I really do. I think the Iron Spider is the better figure. If you want a comic based figure, I guess Iron Spider is comic based as well. So comic based figure, even the Iron Spider wins that one too. It's just the display and the shelf presence of the Iron Spider, as you guys see it right here, is unparalleled. It is unparalleled. However, I'm gonna throw this out there. If you just want a red and blue suit Spidey, the Mark IV is not bad. You know, I, I think the classic suit that they t are, are releasing, I think that one's probably gonna be the one to get. Uh, this one is one you can have now, and I don't think that's a bad thing. If you like a whole bunch of spider people in your spider verse, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's Night Monkey kind of going around looking fantastic. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just think for me, I, I, you know, the UV effect doesn't really do a lot for me. It looks cool, uh, but I know how I'm going to display mine, and I don't have a dedicated uh, black light setup. Now, you might. If you do, then that you know that's that's it's okay for you but for me the iron spider is way cooler way more dynamic i mean you have um ratcheted robot knees if you will and uh i just think that's a cooler suit but you know i can appreciate this i can absolutely appreciate this it is a beautiful looking figure yeah it just it is i still like stealth suit Even, i know it's not everybody's favorite and i know it's not uh you know comic base you know whatever but it would have been cool if he came with like the uh, spider-man noir with the jacket and hat and all that kind of stuff that would have been sick uh, but we didn't get that and then but the iron spider man whoo good lord that thing's got some shelf presence so that's my thoughts guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on the spider-man mark 4 if you haven't already gone to check out the heavy mando uh, unboxing review definitely go check that one out collection review is uh is collection tours on the channel Thank God Mark 7 has arrived. Super excited about that. And um, we're going to do some more fun stuff. So if you haven't already, subscribe. We're on our way to 100,000 subs. So if you have not hit the button yet, it doesn't cost you anything. Help us out. Hit the button. And as always, click what you like. See you next time.